Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, your boy John with the Throwing Bows Podcast. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, but here you go. Here's my uh, first prediction video for UFC 264. This would be the fight that will uh, kind of open the card for you. Like, this would be a good bet to get some good points, whether you do FanDuel or DraftKings. And that fight would be Brad Tavares versus uh, Amari Akhmedov. I really think that that's going to be a banger. Both of those guys are there to put in work. They never stray away from a good fight. They're always in it. And I think that would be a good dark horse pick for uh, your uh, fight predictions. For me, it's Brad Tavares. For others, it could be Akhmedov. Who knows? But what we do know is is it'll be a great fight and a way to a great way to uh, start your uh, betting cards on FanDuel and DraftKings or wherever you may place your bet. Just a little bit further up on the card itself, but still a good fight to take a look at and maybe add to uh, maybe some of your picks, no matter the platform in which you use or how you do it. All right, and that fight is Ryan Hall against, oh, I'm going to butcher this guy's name, and it's going to be bad, and I apologize, champ. Alayan or Alaya Tapuria. All right. I think this is a great fight. It's another one of those fights where it should be uh, very fun, probably fast-paced. Uh, both of them have uh, knockout power. Ryan had his uh, fight, his knockouts a little bit earlier in his career, and Aliyah had his a little bit more recently in his career. And the reason why I like this fight so much is that they're kind of mirror images of each other. You're going to get more submissions than you are knockouts out of them. But you, stood, you should still respect them, though. And I think the submission game out of the both of them is going to be a very interesting uh, thing to watch. I think the uh, grappling exchanges are going to be fun and fast-paced. And uh, I think Ryan Hall... Admittedly, even though I'm a homer on this, I think he takes it. Even though I think Alaya is a a younger, maybe a younger version of him. Okay? With that being said, that's my pick. You pick as you want, and even on the platform you want. And the next fight we're going to go over is going to be uh, Carlos Condit versus Max Griffin. And you're probably going to be asking yourself, John, who are you going to be picking on this one? And I'm going to already tell you. It's not going to be Carlos Condit. It's going to be my boy, Max Griffin. I just think he's a younger, hungrier fighter. And I think Carlos Condit is probably at that stage in his career. Well, definitely at that stage. There's, you know, there's no might be behind it. Uh, he's at gatekeeper status. you know. And let's be honest. The 12 fights, including the fight with GSP, he's 4-8. and eight. Let, let me say that again. He's 4-8. and eight. Now... This video and my prediction probably won't make a lot of people happy, and I apologize for that. Not really. I'm a Carlos Condit fan. I definitely know my co-host, Jose, is going to be very angry about my pick in this. But I'm going with the younger fighter, Max Griffin. I mean, would you honestly go with somebody who's 4-8 and eight in their last 12 fights? No matter how much you like them, just saying. Everybody make your own choice. Remember... I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you what you need to hear. And the pick is Max Griffin. See you next time.